Welcome to Towers of the Earth with me, David, and Vladdy. Hi. Uh, we're now walking across to a place called Rad Hosht. Yes, that's right, Rad Hosht. I was going to say that. Um, it's a four kilometer walk there and four kilometers back. Uh, in the middle, there's a nice statue of a Radagast, which I'm going to video. And, uh, and a lookout tower, yes. That's right, so Cyrilka is his name. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So now we're going to something called Rosledna Cyrilka, which is actually on the route to uh, Radhorst, yes. We've come up from there and now we can see the actual little lookout tower there. Yeah, she's there. It is a wooden constructed type of tower, uh, but we can't say uh, the tower itself is very high, but of course we are at altitude, so. There's a couple of steps, one, two, and now we're in the tower. It is surrounded by trees, which sort of uh, negates the point of having uh, these types of information uh, stands because you can't see that much from here, a little bit. So what are we coming up to now then, Vladi? The statue of Radegast. Uh -huh. And this statue was uh, originally... Like a pagan god? Yeah, a pagan god. And uh, apparently the original statue is buried somewhere on the mountain. So the statue is actually at an altitude of 1,105 meters. Radagast is or was a pagan god. And you can see his face there. Uh, he looks pretty ferocious. His face is meant to be made up of some form of ogre and a lion or something like that. Interestingly, Radagast is also the name of a very popular beer. So this part of the walk is quite smooth. The path is asphalt and uh, no rocks on this, so it's pretty easy. This is her offering to me a few wild raspberries. In the winter time, of course, this whole area is used for skiing. And uh, here behind me, you can see one of the drag lifts. So there it is, the piste, which runs down there. French Stadt, or the Radhorstium. And down below there is Troyano Mensa. And then there's the chairlift coming up over there. These people here are actually picking blueberries. Quite popular these days to put stones on top of each other and make these type of little towers. Uh, and I've seen this in quite a few places. It's interesting that they even work up here on the land. Yeah, there below us is Rozhnov. Thank you, Vladi. This is a statue of Cyril and Metodier, and you can see the chapel behind it. Uh, it's not the only sort of high building here or high structure, because over here uh, we have a transmitter type of tower. So we're now buying tickets to go up a level on uh, this chapel. Yeah, so there's the chapel inside. Stairs here, wooden. Yeah, wooden stairs. Oh, it's very narrow. Yeah, that's it. So now I'm starting. It is uh, stone steps, concrete, which then uh, changes to wooden steps, which are extremely narrow, as Vladdy said, but nice. And there we are. We're at the top. No, we're not at the top. So this is at the first level. Yeah. 
uh, and on this level it's got very low beams in it so I can actually hit my head on the top. I have no problem. No. <laughs> uh, there is a little like open window porthole here. Now my turn. Over there. And on this side is the view. It's a little bit windy here. Yeah. Uh, there's the transmitter tower. What's of interest in this direction? Belki. Belki Yavonik. Okay. I think that Stromberg Tower. And because we're high up, because of the mountain anyway, the views are uh, really nice from here, mm -hmm. I have to say. So I would give 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yeah. Uh, I agree with you, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's all from us. My name is David. My name is Vladi. And we are the Tower Hunters. Yes, we are. So keep following us on our channel. Goodbye. Bye.